Alright, this is my buddy Caleb, and normally I like to have, um, have like stronger people showing me the concepts, but I'm not going to abuse him too badly. So in judo we have a pin called Uki Itami, uh, floating hold, and basically I'm going to put my weight on his belly or chest and kind of hover with very little minimal contact with the ground. So uh, a lot of BJJ guys will call this knee on belly. Or another way that uh, we do it is this uh, S-mount type position where I'll be hovering my weight over him and he's bearing the weight. It makes him very uncomfortable. So I'm using this concept of him bearing all of my weight to um, hold on to the arm lock longer and actually break the grip for Juju Gitami. So one of the best ways to get out of this Juju Gitami type position, he's going to have his hands together. He's going to be defending. He's going to push my leg off of his face and then sit up, basically. Or if he can't get my leg off of his face, there we go. If he can't get my leg off of his face, then he's just going to turn his hips and his face toward me and yank his elbow straight to the ground. And if he can get his elbow to the ground, I'm never going to finish his arm. I can pull all day and it's never going to work. So, I'm going to use this ball here to demonstrate so he doesn't have to bear the brunt of this. But basically, I'm going to use my body weight on his face with this part of my leg, the lower part of my thigh, right on his face. And I'm going to lift my butt up in the air to where I'm floating on top of him. And then I'm going to push myself with this hand that's on the ground. I'm going to push myself that way so that his face turns, so that his chin turns. All right, we bring him back into the equation. And I turn his head like this, he can no longer sit up, sit up. He can't sit up. And more importantly, grab your hands together. He can't yank his elbow to the floor now because he can't turn toward me the way he needs to with his hips. If I don't have any pressure on his face, he can turn and yank that out. But if I elevate my weight onto his face, then he can no longer pull his elbow out. I still need to be squeezing my knees together, just like an ordinary arm lock. It's no different here. And I want to make very sure not to, um, when I lift up, I want to make very sure to push straight out and not toward his feet. Because if I like get up and start coming around toward his head in order to turn his face, then he will take his hand and he will push my leg in between his own legs here and trap it. And then I'm never going to finish the arm lock either. So I want to be very careful not to turn around. I just want to push out straight. So I'm going to keep my knees squeezed really, really tight. I'm going to keep this uh, hand very, very deep on my own leg over here on this side and project my weight into his face. And then just kind of balancing here in midair with all my weight bearing on his face, I'm just going to turn my hips over. Hold on as tight as you can, don't let go. I'm just going to turn my hips over to face the floor like I'm doing a belly down on bar. And his grip just pops free. And there's no real strength involved in that. In fact, he can probably do it to me. Uh, I, I might do a video with that later once he knows how to do it. But um, he can hold on as tight as he wants. He can grab the figure four grip if he wants. And as long as I can get in here, turn loose, it's going to break anything loose. Uh, you can even uh, grab a hold here and then go underneath the leg here. And if, as long as I can get this hook in, squeeze my knees together and keep his chin turned away from me, where he can't pull his elbow out, then he only has one direction that he can turn, which is away from me. And I just turn over and the arm pops right up. So that's what I've been using. Uh, another relatively good thing about this is doesn't work, I can kind of like always claw myself back up into this S-mount type position and start working regular cross collar choke attacks and that sort of thing. Sorry buddy, I know that was miserable. It's fine. Heaven knows you put me through worse.